up Capricorn? This is your love reading for February 20th through the 28th. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, here we go. Overall energy is the Eight of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with one. You don't have to be. I just look at this as your own energy right now, though. And the Eight of Wands is an awesome card to have in a love reading because it is a shoot your shot card. It's going after what you want. You're going after it really fast. It's super passionate and um, super sexual. So it could also be a travel card. You could be traveling to see someone, um, probably by plane. So either way, it's going after what you want. It's taking action really fast. Now in your recent past, you have the karma card reverse. This is also the same card as judgment. It's reversed. So something might have happened um, in your recent past that probably wasn't so pleasant for you. You might have felt like you were being judged um, harshly. You might have been in like a karmic connection um, that didn't go well for you. Uh, but that's in your past. So that brings us to the present, which makes sense with the karma reversed in your immediate past. You have the four of swords upright in your present. This is healing. Um, oh gosh, I'm going to sneeze guys. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, maybe not. Anyway, Four of Swords is healing. It's taking a time out. So you were hurt recently. Um, and I don't want to stay, I don't want to say like, you know, like crisis, like tragic kind of hurt, but you were hurt. Um, it could be even, you could have been like physically ill, but I don't look at it this way. I look at it as mental. Um, not mentally ill, although it could be but just a situation that had you really hurt where now you are needing to take a break, take a time out, you know, retreat a little bit and heal yourself from that situation. Now in your immediate future, you have the Six of Cups. So this is my soulmate card, but this is also a past energy card. So you could have an ex that uh, may try to come back or you may want to go back to an ex. All right, your outcome, you have the wheel of the year, the wheel of the year, the wheel of fortune, same thing, um, which is a very card to have, a very good card to have after you had karma reverse in your recent past, because this is just telling you it, things are going to turn around in your favor. All right, this is, it's faded, it's destiny, it's, you know, go with the flow of the universe. Things are definitely turning around for you. All right. Okay, I'm going to clarify some and then we'll get your advice. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Capricorn. What is Capricorn going after? What is Capricorn going after February 20th through the 28th? What is Capricorn going after? On the floor. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Well, this doesn't make any sense whatever okay so four of pentacles earth energy virgo taurus capricorn you could just be traveling to see an earth sign going after an earth sign but the four of pentacles is is definitely an odd card to have with the eight of wands because whereas the eight of wands is you know like full steam ahead i'm going after this i'm getting it i'm getting what i want four of pentacles is is holding back like holding everything like really close to you not really um expressing yourself you know what i mean um so you may be a little confused. You may be, do I want to go after this or do I want to just not? Do I want to just keep everything close to myself, keep my emotions close to myself and not reveal anything? So you may have some confusion, probably because you've been hurt recently. All right, let's clarify the Four of Swords. Let's clarify the Four of Swords. Oh, there's way too many, but I'm going to put these back, but I do have to show you the one on top is the Eight of Wands again, which is what you have in your overall. <clears throat> Clarify the Four of Swords. Clarify the Four of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the Four of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the Four of Swords for Capricorn. 
Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, you, because you have this healing here, you might kind of be taking on this energy, which kind of goes along with the Eight of Wands here. The Knight of Wands is, he's very passionate. He rushes in. He's very sexual. He's very, um, I don't want to say it without making it sound like it's a bad card because I don't think it is. It's just, it's just a certain energy. So you may not be focused right now on anything real serious. You may just be kind of looking to have fun, right? <laughs> Knight of Wands is very sexual. He's also, and it could be a she, either way, it doesn't matter. It's it's very in and out energy. It's not consistent. And he could, you know, he's kind of the kind of person where he just, he's a lot of fun, but you don't know how long he's going to be around. And I say he because it's a he on the card. It could, this could also be a female. Um, doesn't matter. Um, so it could be that right now you're just not focused on anything serious. You're focused on passion and fun, but nothing too serious. Okay, let's clarify the Six of Cups. Clarify the Six of Cups for Capricorn. Hmm, the High Priestess. Okay, so... If you have an ex coming back or you are trying to go back to an ex, use your intuition above everything else. <coughs> All right? Whatever your gut is telling you is always right, so make sure that you are listening to it. If your gut's telling you, yeah, I'm going to go try this again, go for it. If your gut's telling you this is bullshit, there's no way, then listen to it. All right? Clarify the wheel for Capricorn. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> All right, so the wheel is clarified by the moon. This is Pisces energy. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Don't have to be, but the moon is things that you don't yet know. It's hidden things, things that have not yet come out. So, and this is obviously, this is in your outcome. It hasn't happened yet. So there's something that's going to happen, something faded that's going to happen to turn things around for you and you don't know what that is yet because it hasn't happened yet but you just have to trust the universe and trust your intuition okay let's get you some advice all right your advice the hanged man so this is kind of a wait and see attitude um, you just kind of look at the situation right now. Just keep doing what you're doing, you know, go after what you want, have your fun. But as far as anything beyond that, just, just observe for a little while. Try to look at everything from every angle before you, um, make an actual decision. Okay. Or, you know, make anything any deeper than it is. Just watch things for a while. Okay. And... You have also the Page of Swords reverse for your advice. So um, just make sure that you are being honest with your communication and make sure that everyone around you is being honest with their communication. Um, watch out for people possibly like spying on you, lying to you. Just keep an eye on that kind of shit. All right. I'm going to clarify the moon. Let's see if we can see what it is that's hidden right now. Clarify the moon for Capricorn. Shit, that's half the deck, guys. That's not going to work. Okay, let's try this again. Sorry. the moon for Capricorn please clarify the moon for Capricorn clarify the moon for Capricorn wow the high priestess again the, all right guys there's something something going on here that you really need to go inside yourself for like you really your intuition is really really trying to tell you something major right now um 
and you have to listen to it and it seems like it seems like you are at a point right now where you're, you know, you're in healing. You're really getting like your inner self and your outer self in harmony. And I think that's why you're not getting into anything too serious because you're trying to work on yourself right now. You're trying to balance yourself out. Um, definitely a good thing. <coughs> Let's clarify this Four of Pentacles though. What is this holding back? What are you holding on to? with the Four of Pentacles. What are you holding on to with the Four of Pentacles? Oh, wow, this is so strange. The Three of Wands. So are you holding back going to see someone you're holding back preparing for the future because you have the eight of wands you really want to go after something but you're holding back um and these are both travel cards the eight of wands is a travel card three of wands is a travel card um somebody might be at a distance right um it's preparing for the future so you have both of these cards here where you are going after what you want possibly traveling to do so but right in the middle you have this energy of holding back so wow I think that you really want there's something that you really want to go after but I think you're not ready yet I think you're just you just need to chill you need to focus on yourself do what you're doing um so that you can be in a better better position emotionally, mentally, to go after what it is that you want. Um, or, you know, just stop holding back. Don't be scared and go after it. It's, it's all about you listening to your intuition, for sure. You have the High Priestess twice here, so definitely listen to yourself and look at everything from every angle. Um, but there's definitely something that you want to go get. Um, let's see if there's anything else we want to clarify. Yes, we can clarify the Knight of Wands. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Capricorn. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I should stop talking today. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Capricorn. Oh, yeah. Six of Wands reversed. So you're feeling not so confident, all right? You're feeling like you failed somewhere, and it has you feeling a lack of confidence. So whereas you have all this, you have this shit that you want to go after, that you want to go get, and you may be to a certain point, but you can only go a certain point right now because you don't have the confidence to go any further with it because you're still in healing from something that happened in the past. Um, so, just work on yourself like you are and listen to your intuition and when you feel strong enough to go after whatever it is that you really wanna go after so bad, then go for it. All right, take care.